Hi, um, I'm really excited. I have a box opening in the news of a smart doll. So I already cut the front part, but I haven't cut this end part because I didn't cover up addresses and such. So I just realized that. So I decided to cut the front part right before I started the video. Um, I didn't know when I would be able to add another smart doll to my smart doll collection. I feel like it's been kind of a little while. And so I'm really excited for, for her, for this one. This is a smart doll that I, um, when I first saw her in um, production or pre-production or whatever, when I first saw pictures of her, or heard of the idea about her, I was really excited. Um, didn't know if I would buy her because she has a semi real face. And I like the anime faces better. And I thought maybe I would hold out for a while from buying her to wait and see if she would come out in anime. But as I've watched other videos and learned more about some of the smart dolls and stuff, I kind of feel like that's not going to happen. And so I just decided when I had the money and I was looking at smart dolls and thinking of buying another smart doll, I just thought I'm just going to go for it. So so I did, and here she is. One thing about smart dolls is how fast they get here. It's really fun because um, I know I've ordered some other things recently that I was kind of excited about and they've already it's already been past a month since they got here and you're still excited but the excitement to me it kind of wanes a little bit and you kind of try to not think about it and you kind of the excitement kind of fades a little bit because it's going to be a while and with smart doll and you buy the smart doll and you get it and just a few days usually and it's just it's just part of the whole excitement about getting a new smart doll and of course here's the bag they come in keep calm and carry a smart doll here's a little box i didn't get any extras or anything this time um here's her wig it's the maple wig the card Danny Chu, Smart Doll, and her stand, which is tea colored. I should keep a stand out. I have never used a stand. I don't take a lot of pictures of my Smart Dolls, but I do have them around me a lot when I'm doing things. And I'm, the other day I was wondering, I wonder what a stand, how it would help them just being there with me. So I'll set this stuff over here. We will get to the doll. And here she is. And she has blue underwear. It looks like the underwear set. And I don't know if I have blue. I kind of feel like that is a new color. So that's kind of fun. I might as well say who she is because the video the video will say so it is survivor so it's smart dog survivor so I'm excited to see she has a tea head cap she almost looks a lot cinnamon tones. It's very, very sweet. It's a great leg. So she is Survivor. Her skin tone is made to represent someone who may have been burnt or skin issues like that. I think mainly it is burnt um, in the Oh, she's pretty. I love this little mole in the description of her. 
where they have the burnt skin where it's all like different colors. So here's her leg and her feet and her chest and her face. Very pretty. Her wig will cover most of this. Oh, her neck looks really good. So when I first saw him trying um, things out with this technique, I was really excited. That's a good leg. <laughs> so fun. So when I ordered her, you can put a note in to Danny. I mean, some people have their smart doll signed or their bag or something. And I thought I would just put a note. Oh, look how loose her hand is. That's really, I've never had a hand that loose before. I thought I would put a note in and just say that if there was... Um, a survivor that had a lot of the technique of the marbling of the skin that I would be interested in her in because I just find it so just beautiful and neat and so I didn't know if that was even something they'd be able to do I even said if that's not something that is doable I understand but I just thought it would be fun to ask that if there was one with a lot of marbling, that, that I would be interested in her. Because I didn't know. I thought maybe that there would be some when they mold them or make them. And they're like, that one has so much marbling. I don't know if we would use her or, or what. But I'm happy with the marbling of my girl. Oh, you're very pretty. Look at that face. I don't have a name for her yet. I did just get a purple wig. <laughs> and I was thinking of maybe putting it on her. But I didn't bring it with me here. So let's try her maple wig on. I'm not pro at doing wigs. But I have improved over the last year. I'm thinking it's almost been a year, or it has just barely been a year since I got my first smart doll. This is such a pretty wig. I love his new short wigs. I wish there was a way to, to ask for a certain wig when you're getting a smart doll too. Oh, so here's her face. She has brown eyes. And they're a little smaller than the anime eyes that I'm kind of used to on most of my other dolls. I do have Monday, and she's semi-real, but she has great big eyes. And then I have my Anne, and I can't remember what sculpt she is. I was thinking that the other day. So those are my only two semi-real. So now I have Survivor, and a little mole, like I said, is very pretty. Let's put her wig on her. I've seen some people turn them inside out and then just kind of fold them back over. Zero seven. <laughs> Pretty girl. There she is. I like that on her cheek. I have to say, having her in real life and not just in pictures, um, the skin effect is really cool, but it's not as drastic as I was thinking it to be. I mean, this leg right here, doesn't even look like there's anything with it. And this leg has a lot more. But even like her face and stuff, I was thinking that it would be very like noticeable or drastic, more drastic than it is. I mean, her chest does show a lot in her arms, but these are things that are mostly cover up most of the time with clothes anyway. 
but her face is very pretty. And it's really not like an overwhelmingly thin. She's very beautiful. So that's my new smart doll, Survivor. I love the stories of the dolls. I love the specialness of them, the inclusion. Um, I'm not going to get into any of the things, the politics and stuff that Smart Doll has been having. I just choose to kind of ignore them in my own way because I have been in love with these dolls from the first time I ever saw one of them. And the ones that I have, I adore. And, and I think that the their artist and Danny Chu and just the company is just a great company and I look up to them and I just really like the smart dolls <laughs> and there's really nothing that would make me feel any any different about it and I've never doubted them as being anything but just a good doll company that tries to include um, people and just make beautiful pieces of art for people to enjoy. Let's see. I don't know what else much there is to say. Her hands are just so loose. It's just kind of really cool. The ball joints are T. Skin color, but they're not even. I wondered about that if they were like really noticeable, but they don't, and they just kind of blend in really well. I'm really happy. I'm really happy for this pretty girl. I'm excited. Fun to have another girl in the collection. I have to say, I also ordered an option head, which was something I didn't know if I would ever do, because the whole body sharing thing to me is kind of weird, but I will be watching for bodies, and then when I heard that um, Culture Japan or Danny would be making bodies for sale without heads, maybe towards the end of the year or the first of the year, I thought I might as well buy an option head and just kind of hopefully be able to get a body for her later. So we will have a box opening for her when she comes. I think she's cinnamon. And it's really hard for me because I was thinking, well, whose head am I going to take off of their body to share? And it's kind of going to be kind of weird, but... um. I bought it with the thought of I will be getting a body later. So, here's my pretty girl. I don't know what else to say about her. I mean, I have other videos with opening them. They're just, they have movement in their elbows, their shoulders, their chest, her head. Hands and wrist, of course, wrist, knees, hips, ankles. I should have brought an, brought an outfit down to change her into. I do like these blue bra and shorts. She's very pretty, very fun. I'm very happy with her and very happy with this purchase so thank you Danny Chu and all those who make these I really love for them I have a real love for them and I'm already in love with my new girl so much so anyway maybe we'll have to do a smart doll 
wig try on and maybe an outfit thingy too because I do have a few new clothes so thanks for watching hope you all have a lovely day and we will see you again soon bye